Hey guys, this is Beth with Nintendo DS Play. We're in the world here. And I'm going through with a CD, Blu ray, and DVD update. I was going to some, I went to some charity shops and got a whole load of stuff. Gonna start off with, um, I'm gonna start off with the CDs. And these uh, first three are all now, that's what I call music albums. Boom, so first one up is Now Dance Town 3, front spine. And back, this one's from 2002, disc 1, and disc 2. Hmm. That's what up is, now down to time 3 part 2. Point. And spine in the back. This is from um, 2004. Three. It's just one and disc two. And the last now one up is now it's what I call R and B. Front back. This one's from two thousand and eleven. This one and disc two. Uh, these next four up are hits albums. <laughs> First one up is hits fifty from. But in the back, this one's from, um, doesn't say on the back, it might be on the disc. 2001. Disc 1 and disc 2. Mm. Hits 53. With a bonus um, Gareth Gates video, front spine in the back. And this one's um two thousand and two. This one and this two. I'm trying to collect these albums as well. Hits fifty eight. Front and back. This one's from town four and actually says it on the back, which is a bit easier. Disc one and disc two. Really cool disc design, I say. And lastly, hits fifty nine. Front spine in the back. This one's again from 2004. This one and this two. Sorry. Next CD up is Chuck Berry Rock and Roll Music. Front spine in the back. This is from Town 4. That's some live recordings. I thought I'd get the album anyway. It's kind of interesting. Next one. Up is Elvis, 30 number one hits. It's a really good album, of course. Back, this one's from 2002. This one's got some really good quality audio on it. Next one up is Bill Hanley and his comments, rock and roll legend. Front spine on the back. From Town 1 by Prism Leisure. There's the disc. Next one up here is Tamla Motown's early classics. Michael Jackson with the Jackson 5. Front spine in the back. This one's from 1996. Yep. Mm. Next one up is number one for one country compilation. And yep, it's a KTEL album. Front spine in the back from Town One. It features re recordings, but <laughs> re recordings can get quite interesting in areas. And they're quite varied as well. Um, some of them are from like 93 or something. The re-recordings are quite varied in what years they were re-recorded. Re the years listed, you can tell like the years they were re-recorded. I mean, the most beautiful girl, 1995, proves you, isn't it? I think some of these re-recordings are quite old in their own. Mm -hmm. Next snap is Lonnie Donegan putting on the style, the greatest hits, friends. This one's from 2003. Mm. 
Next CD up is More British Stars of the 1950s. Friends, spine you with spine in the back. This one's from 2009. There's the disc on Delta. Uh, next one up. Oh boy, it's Roy Chubby Brown, Fat Out of Hell. This is a comedy album. Front and spine in the back from 1996. And last one up, a Disney soundtrack, The Lion King. It's an original motion picture soundtrack. From, uh, it's originally from 1994, but this is the 2003 special edition release, which has a few bonus tracks. Most notably, The Morning Report and the really cool remixed version of Elton John's rendition of Can You Feel the Love Tonight? And there's the disc. Quite nice to be the morning report is quite short anyway. Mm. Now I'm going to show you the Blu-rays. First off, the standalone ones. These first three are all Disney ones. Pinocchio, front and spine, the back. This one's from 2014. Mm. Next one up is Finding Nemo, front and spine, the back. This one's from 2013. And there's the disc. And last one up is the good dinosaur. Front spine the back is from 2016. And the last standalone Blu-ray I got was um Terminator Salvation, the director's cut. Front spine the back, this is a Sony Pictures Home Entertainment release from 2009. There's the For some reason it comes with a DVD which is interesting. <laughs> These are the right film. I know that one. And I also got a Blu-ray box set, The Godfather, the Coppola restoration, and there's Frank. There's um Frank or Coppola's signature, Frank Spine. You have a spine, the top, the button, them and the back. This is a Paramount release from 2008. First off, here's the Godfather itself. Front spine and the back. Ah, that, that really cool restoration. There's the disc. This was a town, this was a town 10, so this must be a town 10 reprint of it. The Godfather Part 2. Part 3. And the supplement. Has like a little bonus feature. Which is really cool. Yep, as these all say, Tiles and 10 on them. This makes me to believe this is a Tiles and 10 reprint. Now, on to the DVDs, which will be by far the longest part. Uh, let me just take some solid tape off this too. Alright, first DVD up is The Long Good Friday. Here's the front, spine, the back. This is an Anchor Bay Entertainment release from 2002. 
Yeah, never rank if they release my collection. Next one up is Ghost. This front spider in the back. This is a Paramount release from Town 5. Although this copy here is a reprint from 2010. And it's got the more modern Viacom byline on the disc as well. Next one up. This one up is Taris Bulba. Front of one back is interesting. It's a United Artists film, but surprisingly enough. So we see Judge with MGM, but surprisingly, this is actually an Optimum Entertainment release from 2008. Which is interesting. And there's the desk. Surprised some Optimum put this out. Next one up is a South Korean DVD of Random Harvest. Front and spine and the back. This is, um, I'm not sure what the company's called, but it's from 2003. So, 1943 Metro Gold Mare film. Mm. It'll play on all players, so, um, yeah. Digital surround. Next up is The Sand Pebbles. It's in a thin case. Well, front spine in the back, the 20th Century Fox Hero Insane release. The box is from 2007. But the disc, uh, it's a reprint of a previous release. Of the disc is from Town 5, so, yeah. Next one up is Paint Your Wagon. Front spine in the back, this is a Paramount release from 2003, I think. But the disc is from 2002, making another reprint. And yes, this was an actual thing. <laughs> Next one up is JFK. Front spine in the back, this is a Warner Home Video release from 1999. I think this might be a rare DVD release, the theatrical. Mm. Next up is a Hammer Horror film, She, front spot in the back. This is an Optimum Entertainment and Studio Canal release from Town 6. This button got some Hammer. Next up is a brand new and sealed public domain movie, Behave Yourself. Front spine and the back. Uh, this is from the classic movies collection. Don't know what year it's from, early 2000. Next one up is The Spy Who Came In From The Coal. The front, the spine, and the back. This is a Paramount DVD release from 2006. And there's the disc. Next one up is an Alfred Hitchcock film, The Wrong Man. Front spine in the back is a Warner Home video release from 2004. And there's the disc. Next one up is The Mask. Front spine in the back, this is an entertaining video release from, I believe, 1997 or 1998. And if it's from 1997, this means it makes it my oldest DVD. And my old, my first 1997 DVD. Well, I'm not sure if it's 97 or 8. It's definitely one of the first entertainment video DVDs ever released. Next one up is Mannequin. From the MGM Movie Time Collection. It's the front spine and the back. It's an MGM release from, of course, 2004. Although the disc is a reprint, so it's a thousand and two discs. Next one up is The Breakfast Club. Front spine, the back, this is a universal release from Town 5. And there's the disc. Next one up is Hot Shots. And there's the front spine, the back, this is a 20th Century Fox Entertainment release from Town 5. But the disc is recycled from a 2001 release. Next one up here is The Goonies, the full length version. Front spine in the back, this is a Warner Home video release from 2004. Next one up here is Driving Miss Daisy. There's the front spine in the back. 
Act. This is a Pathé release from 2008, distributed by 20th Century Fox. And there's the disc. Next one up is a Laurel and Hardy DVD, Ollie and Manta Ray, front spine and the back. It's a Universal release from 2004. All the shorts on here are um, featured in both uh, the original black and white version and the colorized version as well, which is really cool. Oh. Mm. There's the desk. Next one up is Yippee Kaye Yay! Die Hard with a Vengeance, the two disc collector's edition. Front spot on the back, this is a Touchstone Home Entertainment release from. I'm not sure what year this is from. Special picture disc and the movie disc. Next up is The Little Shop of Horrors, front spot in the back, this is a Warner Home video release from 2000. There's the disc. Next one up is Evolution, the front spot in the back, it's a Columbia Choice Arm Entertainment release from Tom 1. There's the disc. Mm. And these um, next four deep. These up are the scary movie films, starting with the original scary movie. Front spot on the back. It's a Hollywood Pictures only release, but I'm not sure what year. To get early 2000s. You can tell it's definitely really old by the ratings. Mm. Next one up is Scary Mo Movie. Movie. Scary Movie 2. This one's a Dimension Home video release, surprisingly enough. Oh, but they're still distributed by Buena Vista, but you know. Scary Movie 3, which comes in a reprinted rental copy box. It's on the back. This one's on Dimension Miramax Home video. There. And scary movie for the extended and unsanitized edition. Front spot in the back. This one's on Miramax Home Entertainment. So they're all on different Buena Vista labels. Well, when Miramax was still a Disney company, of course. And this last DVD up is a jewel case DVD. Yeah. Attack. Uh, yeah, this is my first Columbia Troy Storm jewel case, I believe. And look there, shiny hologram. Front spine, you have a spine in the back. It's a Columbia Trust and Maintenance release from 1999. There's the disc. It's a double sided disc. I believe one side's full screen and one side's widescreen. And now we have, have a DVD. <laughs> Lastly, we have a DVD box set. And there's the Scream trilogy. It's the front, the spine, the other spine, the top, the bottom, and the back. This is a Miramax release from, I'm not sure when, it's distributed by Lionsgate, but it uses the Buena Vista style packaging, which is a bit interesting. Don't answer the phone, don't open the door, don't try to escape, and there's Ghostface. Starting off, and here's Scream, front spine and the back. I think how these use a the Buena Vista style packaging. Scream 2, front spine the back. I don't know what years these are from, early 2010s re releases, I think. And Scream 3, front spine the back. This one has a Hollywood Pictures logo on there. These possibly might still have the content on Hollywood. I guess I'll have to check, you know. Anyway, let me put those in. Nearly forgot. Nearly forgot. I have a few more DVDs as well. Battlestar Galactica, front spine, the back, the um, it's, um the thousand and three um, the pilot for the Tom Three revival, 
It's a universal release from 2007, although the disc can come forth from the playback series. Michael Jackson Moonwalker, front spine and the back. It's a Warner and video release from Town 5. This is one very long update. It, the 1990 version, front spine and the back. Warner and video release from 2006. Although it's a reprint, it's double sided. Next up, Oliver Twist, the Roman Polinski one, the really cool gold game. Max, a Pafe release from Town 6, distributed by 20th Century Fox. Next up is The Last Tango in Paris, an uncut and uncensored version. Mac M Gem release from 2004, the, the disc is from 2000. The Best of More Campbell and Wise, that's on the back, BBC release from Town 1. Was this Rudolph and Rudolph Red Nosed Reindeer in the Island of the Misfit Toys? Front spine the back, a Carlton release from 2001. A farewell to arms, front spine the back. It's a public domain GMVS release. Gary. Film from 1932. Next up, this is a funny and um, very funny CBD show, Giggle Bears. He's behind you, Nana Knickerbocker. Friends by and back, this is a Dazzler Media release from 2015. I think this is season three of Giggle Bears, maybe season four. Penultimate DVD up is Pulp Fiction, front spine in the back, Miramax release from Tom 1, I believe, but I'm not sure. Disc 1 and Disc 2. And last one up is The Robe, front spine in the back, the 20th Century Fox release from Tom 5. Another disc. So anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed this update video. Thanks for watching and bye.